I'm Peter Erskine. I played Remo Heads as soon as I began playing the drums when I was four or five years old. I guess I got my first kit when I was five, so let's say five years old. And uh, played them up until the time I joined the Stan Kenton band. And uh, when I joined Stan's band, uh, basically the way that was set up, I had to use the band cymbals, and they wanted me to use the band drum heads, which were Evan's heads. And I played on Evan's for a few years, pretty much the whole time I was with Stan. Um, when I went back out on the road with Maynard Ferguson, um, I was fortunate enough to hook up with Remo and begin playing their heads. And that's the picture with the cowboy hat. Uh, played Remo throughout the, uh, my en entire uh, tenure with Weather Report and also with Steps Ahead. And then for a couple years, as far as the music industry goes, I was stateless. Um, hooked back up with Bob Beals, who uh, uh, was, was a good friend and, and my first music industry uh, friend. He was the first guy to sign me up back in 1973. So we uh, collaborated once again, and, and I stayed with the good folks at Evans, which then became to Dario, uh, for about 25 years. Uh, during the course of that time, I began playing DW drums. That was about seven years ago. Um, to be honest, I, uh, I started flirting and having an affair with Remo Heads and kept it fairly quiet, but um, the drum heads were making such a good noise that I couldn't keep it quiet any longer. And um, uh, the, the advent of the uh, succeeding generation of fiber skin heads and the skin tone head and all the improvements that Remo's made to the full line of drum heads over the years uh, just proved irresistible and so I'm back and I'm very excited I feel uh, invigorated and, and uh, in fact liberated by the sound and the response I'm getting from Remo heads on my drums so um, they say life begins at 60 I'm not quite there yet but almost so I've got a good uh, jump start so I play a lot of different kinds of music and I have several different drum sets. You know, it's funny. Sometimes I wish I, I wish I could be as smart as Steve Gadd. Just get like one kit and just play that for everything. And Tony Williams did the same thing. But I have to admit, I like having a small bebop kit for bebop. And I like having a slightly larger kit for big band. And uh, an even larger kit in terms of drum diameters. Uh, if I'm doing kind of pop, pop stuff. Because uh, I like all kinds of music. And... This way seems to work best for me. Um, for my jazz playing, I'm very jazzed uh, about the skin tone heads. And it occurred to me that, you know, if we just put an er in front of the name of the head, you would have an er skin tone head. Just a thought. <laughs> um, they sound wonderful. The drums sing. And the response is lovely. It, it, it helps me play better. I mean, you know, what more can you say about an instrument or a part of an instrument than not only sounds great, but it inspires me to play better. It enables me to play better. And that's what I'm finding uh, with the Remo heads, particularly these skin tones. Uh, so it's, a, uh, it's a sound and feel that... that that harkens to the calf skinhead, which is sort of the, the holy grail for drummers. Um, and yet, uh, the ease of using them and, and the tuning possibilities uh, uh, make life a lot simpler using a skin tone versus uh, going with calf. I did a project a couple years ago where we used calf. Uh, when we did the album at Capitol Studios, it was fine. But when we did this live video shoot, uh, we had the sponges and the 
we had to we had to keep tweaking the calf heads quite a bit because of the weather and the lights and everything. So skin tones are the answer if you're looking for that kind of a jazz sound. In addition to the skin tones, it's uh, uh, it's that quest of, of you know, wanting to, to come home again uh, that uh, burns, I think, in all of us. And, and for me, uh, the vintage ambassador, what you call the vintage A, is such a treat to find. And, and putting that on the snare drum or tom-toms, just like the Remo heads I played when I was a kid. Um, and I was a kid quite a while ago, uh, so I was playing uh, on, on these heads in the early 1960s. So uh, I have a Vintage A on my snare drum here. I've uh, outfitted my big band kit uh, with Vintage A's all the way around. Um, on the bass drum here, I've got a fiber skin. Um, it's the, let me see what is it, the Fiber Skin 3 FA. And uh, maybe you'd like to hear what the drums sound like. 